Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I'm going to be talking about Sword Art Online Ordinal Scale, which is a 2017 anime film that is based in the same universe, using the same characters as the Sword Art Online series of anime, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. There are major spoilers in this review for the film, okay? All right, so... One, my review of this film, it's absolutely fantastic. I really, really, really liked it a lot. I would give it four out of five stars. Um, I was blessed to see this on a special screening at Otakon. In, uh, in Otakon, Otakon is a, um, East, an, an American East Coast anime convention. It's one of the biggest anime conventions in the United States of America, usually between like 30 and 45,000 attendees. And, um... And this year, Otakon transitioned from Baltimore to Washington, D.C. So this was an amazing screening. It was really, really wonderful to see it like this because I got to see it with, like, it, it had to be at least two or three, two, it probably, it was a, it was a room that sat between 1,000 and 2,000 people, I think. Maybe, maybe as high as 3,000. And, um, but it was really wonderful to see this because, one, it was included, included with the price of admission for my Otakon uh, adventure, you know, uh, but I was getting to see it with the people who really love anime and particularly Sword Art Online, so, like, the, the audience was just ideal, everybody was quiet when you should be quiet, everybody laughed when you should laugh, it was, it was really wonderful, and I, I was really blessed to see this movie in exactly the circumstance I was blessed to see it in, so, um, it really is a pretty amazing movie, it, it has Kurito and Asuna, the major characters, so Kurito is this dual-wielding, um, you know, uh, sword master from, from Sword Art Online, uh, Asuna is also a major capable combatant within, um, within the Sword Art Online world, okay, now, Sword Art Online's Ordinal Scale takes place after the Sword Art Online, uh, series, which, let's stop there and talk about that for a minute, this is a sequel, not a prequel, and I just really appreciate that they're advancing this story and letting additional things happen to the characters rather than going back and doing one of these lame, safe prequels that so many series do. So I just was wonderfully thrilled that this was a legitimate sequel. We got to see a growth and maturity for all the characters in the series, which was really wonderful. Absolutely loved it. So, uh, so one of the things that happens in this is... At this point, Kurito and Asuna are living. They have escaped the Sword Art Online world. So, of course, in the Sword Art Online series, um, by the way, spoilers for the Sword Art Online series in this as well. Uh, of course, they're they're trapped in this video game world, and if they die in the video game world, they die in the real world. Okay, and it's kind of like a VR set thing, right? So, at this point, Kurito and Asuna are out of the Sword Art Online world, and. Um, and they're living their regular lives, right? Well, one of the things that happens is a new type of game comes forward, and it's called the Augma. And it's augmented reality. It's an augmented reality player that sits right behind your left or your right ear, and it projects a view of augmented reality onto your real world, right? And, uh, you know, which, as a computer person, I was like, that's super cool, you know, like... So, and also, it was really interesting because Sword Online... Ordinal Scale is like Sword Art Online if it was Pokemon Go. It's the Sword Art Online world mapped over our own world. And and then the ramifications are that, like, are that the characters go places in their own physical world to fight raid bosses, just like you would do in Pokemon Go, right? And um and then they have they have sword battles. Like they have sword battles between each other in augmented reality. Right? And they showed how this would work, like how we would use equipment in the real world to simulate sword fighting in augmented reality games. So I was really, really super hyped about this movie because I absolutely love uh, Pokemon Go. I'm a, I don't know if you guys know this. I'm a big Pokemon Go player. I'm a level 30th trainer. Uh, I, I have started going to raids with a buddy of mine. Uh, to get, you know, the big legendaries, you know, I've been playing for a long time, I really like that game, I started when the game started, and I never stopped playing, I know there's a lot of people who, you know, 
And I really feel that Pokemon Go is an incredibly important game, not within the video game culture. That game is going to change how technology interfaces for everyone, for everyone in real life, right? And a lot of people are really dismissive of that game, and they don't understand that, like, Pokemon Go is like rock and roll. It is going to change the world. Um, now, it, now, I will admit, the change for that is a little delayed. I, I already thought we would have competitors, but the technology that's in there is is unbelievable. Right, and it's going to be used in all kinds of different ways. You know, there's going to be a day where you walk into a cemetery and pull out your phone, and the person that's in that grave will give you a different message depending on what day it is. You know, like just small things like that mapped onto everything we do. And Sword Art Online Ordinal Scale is brilliant because it comments on this and it gives a fictional uh, a fictional telling of hey, here's here's what you know augmented reality is going to look like. Here's how this is going to impact players. Here's how this is gonna, um, you know, how this is gonna play out at a video game level. How this is gonna play out at a personal level. Um, here's what's gonna be like when video game players have to talk trash to each other right to the face because you can't do it over a, you know, over a, a headset unit, right? You know, like, and it, it's really, it's it mind blowing. It's it, it's so, like sort of online ordinal scale was super relevant to right now, you know, and I, I really really like that a lot. So um, one of the things I thought was really, in, there's just so many things I thought were really super interesting about the film. Um, one of the things was uh, Carido and Asuna, they have escaped the Sword on Online world, okay? And now they're in the world of, um, they're in the world of the augmented reality game. So it, it's like, essentially like a new game. And also, the new game has creatures from the old Sword Art Online game, right? The augmented reality game. And one of the things that becomes uh, evident is they, they talk about this problem, and it's pretty interesting, was Carito can't move. He's really stiff, and he, he hasn't really exercised, right? Because he's just laying around on his bed in his VR unit. And I just, I love that they actually, you know, acknowledge this problem of if you are a and they so rarely do this. Like every video game book I've ever read, every video game, you know, um, every piece of media that talks about video games, the players are like super good at the video game, but they're also super fit. And I'm like, no, like people who play 20, 30 hours a week of whatever game they're playing and then also have a job and live in the real world, they're usually not super fit because there's not a lot of time left for, for fitness, you know, like, and so... They at least acknowledge that in the ordinal scale uh, world that, you know, that Carito was really struggling because he didn't, he wasn't physically fit because he wasn't, he hadn't exercised in a long time, right? And in, and one of the things that's interesting in, in, this, in the ordinal scale game is they physically uh, sword fight each other with these special units that essentially are just a small stick that you can just put in your pocket that simulate the hilt. And then the game actually applies the sword, right? And so it's like, I'm like, wow, you know, like this could, you know, what would that really look like? And then the glasses let you see your opponent and his sword or her sword. And I was like, it is really, really interesting. It like, it made you think about what would, aug what, what would augmented reality equipment really look like if it went beyond just, um, you know, just your phone, right? Which I thought that's really interesting to see what that what that maps out and what it looks like. And Ordinal Scale really embraces that and really jumps in and tackles some of those design problems, which I thought was fascinating. So, uh, so you, you're dealing with all that, right? But then the other thing with Carito, they, I have to say, the way they deal with Carito is, is amazing. Like, there's a lot of character progression from Carito. And one of the things is Carito was like this super Mac awesome sword fighter on in Sword Art Online, right? Uh, he was a beater, and uh, but in this in this in this show, right? He's because he has to physically sword fight. He's way less powerful, right? And so he has to deal with, you know, falling down from being this awesome sword master to being this you know kind of like low end schlub, right? And so that that's kind of interesting. But even more than that, one of the things other two is they, they go into into Carito's mindset, right? And one of the things they deal with in Carito's mindset is like there's this there's this quick thought of do I wish I was still in the game? And so there's a lot of times where you're looking at what Carito says and how he reacts to things and you're like, oh my gosh. 
Carrito wishes he was still trapped in the game because while he was laying on his bed and he was trapped in there and he had to fight for his life and every single fight, if he died, he died in the real world. Why that would be genuinely terrifying. He had gotten used to it. And not only had he gotten used to it, he excelled there, right? So this is an area where he reigns, right? Um, and, and it doesn't have all the problems of the real world, right? And you get this idea that, that, um, that he was really longing to be where he had been trapped and where he had fought so hard to get out. Now he was longing to be back there. And that was a deep, deep personal, like, uh, topic within the, you know, within the movie. And, and it was very, very well done character project correction for Carito. And one of the things that was wild is the way they deal with this in the, in the movie in ordinal scale is there's a point where he expresses his love for Asuna and he says, you know, because I see you out here in the real world, because I'm dealing with you actually directly, um, that has made me want to, uh, that has made it so that I've never actually wanted to be back in the game. I've always wanted to be right here. Right. So, and it was really, is a really deep moment. Like it was, uh, it was really cool. Also, they, they do a good job of, of just, um, showing the progression of Carito and Asuna as, as paramours, which I thought that was, that was very interesting as well. Uh, it was, it was handled, it was handled pretty well. I didn't think it was too bad. Um, it, it was, it was good. So, the other thing, like, it was really a very, very deep film. Um, also, the villain of the piece was a father whose daughter had died in the Sword Art Online game, right? And he had lost her. So what he's doing now is he's um, he is taking people into the game through... So he created uh, the Augma. He created this new this new sort of online game that uses the Augma, and essentially what he's doing is it connects you know this Augma piece connects directly to their brain, and he has set up a situation where he can essentially steal their consciousness, upload it into a set of computers, and then create recreate his daughter as an AI, so that he can interact with the AI, right? So it's a grieving father planning to kill, to mind kill, make brain dead thousands and thousands of players with the purpose of cre of using their their brain energy to be a um what is it again? To to be an AI, which again like totally relevant, totally like right on to today's current topics, you know, which I I thought that's brilliant. And it really was. And so basically Carito and Asuna and all of their friends have to go into the augmented reality world, the new the new version of Sword Art Online, to fight all these creatures. But they also need to stop all the players and get them out of the game, right? And one of the, the ways they figure this out is like if they just beat the monster, everybody will leave the game because the game's over, right? And um, and and of course, and so what happens in the end is that. Um, the, the the girl ghost, the ghost of the girl who is talking to her father, right, because she's a really limited AI at this point, uh, and she exists within this augmented reality game, she tells him, you know, what you're doing is wrong. You, you need to stop this. But the father won't stop, and Karita and Asuno shatter his, his plan. They defeat his plan to do all this evil. And it, it's really, it was excellent. It was very, like... And so it's great because you get to see all these awesome battles for, within the Sword Art Online world with these old creatures from Sword Art Online in being fought in a new way, right? And it is just really awesome. The other thing is, if you've never seen Sword Art Online, definitely check this out. And the reason why is I'm falling in love with these, these anime movies. And the reason why is, you know, I'm a busy guy. I don't have all the time in the world. And I have way too many hobbies. So I don't really have time like Inuyasha. I would love to watch Inuyasha, but Inuyasha is hundreds of episodes, right? And I don't have time to watch hundreds of episodes. I really don't, right? But there are three Inuyasha movies, right? Now, if I watch those Inuyasha movies, I'm going to get 50 to 75% of what's in that show, 
it's going to be condensed, but I'm going to see the characters. I'm going to see the way they use their weapons. I'm going to see their environment. I'm going to see the humor. I'm going to get a taste of what's in that world at a fraction of the time. And if you've never watched Sword Art Online, on, Sword Art Online definitely jump into Sword Art Online uh, Ordinal Scale. Like it, It's a really cool movie. You'll get to see what that world looks like. Um, and, and it's a great introduction to the world. Uh, and, and if you don't like it, you're out an hour and a half. And if you love it, you can go back and you can watch the other stuff, right? So I think that's a, it's a really cool way to, uh, to actually just experience uh, Sword Art Online. Um, the, the movie was absolutely fantastic. Art is top-notch. Uh, the dub, it was dubbed. I, I really like dubs, by the way. Um, if you're out there and you like anime dubs, uh, high five to you. Um, I know that's a whole thing within the community, but I really liked it. It was excellent. Um, and it was, uh, it was really great. We, we just had, you know, it was, it was really, really great movie. It was, it was really excellent. Um, I actually got to see it with my oldest daughter, which was really nice. It was, it was really phenomenal. I highly reckon, recommend Ordinal Scale. Uh, one of the last things I'm going to say about it is they actually go into singing idols in this. Like, they have a singing idol. Um, so, uh, you know, these Japanese, um, singers, um, that are virtual, I, I know there's a word, there's a correct word for it, um, but actually they have one of these in the game, and so while they're doing these battles, they have this character who comes in and actually sings while they do the battles, very Japanese, very Japanese, and just really different, like that, I think that's the thing that I really just loved about Sword Art Online is it was just Sword Art Online ordinal scale. So different. So different than Sword Art Online. Uh, so different from really any other, uh, from a lot of other animes I've seen. Certainly massively different than all of the, the American animation I've been watching recently. Really can't say enough about it. Four out of five stars. Sword Art Online ordinal scale. Highly recommended. Take care, everybody.